What we're going to go through this morning is using a wear wash machine over washing by hand. Um, I'm sure you've all seen out there, as, as I certainly have, there's still a lot of sites out there that will still uh, wash up by hand, uh, which in the current climate is not the best of, uh, way of doing it. So what we're, we're going to do is just run through some of the benefits really of washing uh, with a wear wash machine over hand washing. And then uh, we've also put together some service packages as well. So where sites have got an existing machine, so again, the benefits of trying to sell a service for those. And then we've put together some best practices as well. So again, for existing customers with machines, you can, you can give them some advice on what they should be doing. We've set opens up some opportunities for you guys to sell. We move on to um, looking at the, the benefits of uh, washing with a wear wash machine over washing by hand. Well, one of, one of the main benefits is, is the temperature. Obviously, it's critical to, to make sure that uh, anything that's being washed, that any bacteria, um, any uh, virus, anything that's on the items that are being washed is, is killed. Um, so when you look at a wear wash machine, uh, the wash temperature on both glass washing and dish washing is at 55 degrees centigrade. And then the rinse, which is the critical one, um, is 70 uh, on the rinse on the glass washer, 82 on a dishwasher. And you'll see the PDF there that we've put together. So again, uh, we'll send this out to, to you guys. So it gives you again some key pointers that you can talk to and show your, your customers um, when you were in front of them. But the critical one really is the temperature. When you're washing by hand, you'd probably only be able to do between 40 and 50 degrees max, which again is not going to guarantee you're going to sanitize the item that's being washed. So with a wear wash machine, the critical thing is once it's been washed, um, you know that everything has been, been sanitised, which at the moment is, is really critical. Um, second point is chemical, is chemical dosing. At the end of the day, no matter how good a, a wear wash machine is, if you haven't got the right amount of detergent and rinse aid going into it, and a good quality uh, detergent and rinse aid, again, it's not going to wash very well. So again, it's making sure that the wear wash machine is set up to dose the correct amount of detergent, the correct amount of rinse aid, to guarantee you're going to get the best result and again you're going to get that sanitized item once the wash cycle um, is completely finished and then the third thing climate another critical thing to be aware of is minimum contact um, with it, certainly the clean items when they're coming out of the machine and what you've got to be really mindful of is cross contamination historically in a wear wash area you'll probably get one kp doing the, the loading and the unloading which you, before um, covid19 was, was okay, but now you've got to be mindful if the same person is loaded, they then unload guns. If they're not washing their hands and sanitizing uh, door handles on, on machines or a pass through or a run the counter, you've got that cross contamination. So it's vitally important that you try and get that message across that if one person is, is loading, once they've loaded that machine, they've got to make sure that they're, they're thoroughly washing their hands. They're also then sanitizing um, door handles on pass-throughs, under counters, uh, control panels as well. Because you think you're going to unload the machine with a dirty hand, load it up, close the door, start the cycle. Great. As soon as it's finished, if you haven't washed your hands and you haven't sanitized that, you're opening that door straight away. You're then potentially touching the items inside the machine. So it's a complete change of mentality from operators to making sure that they're thinking that these things there's no cross contamination between dirty items the user's hands and then the clean items that are coming out and the machines. That's really, really critical um, at the moment. And another thing then you can potentially think about on, certainly on glass washers, is reverse osmosis. Um, again, a lot of sites out there, certainly on a uh, high-end sites, will be doing a lot of polishing of their glassware. So when they come out, there'll be someone stood there and they'll be physically polishing the glassware uh, with a cloth. And again, that's a massive potential of cross-contamination, again, with dirty hands, dirty cloth. So, so really, at the moment, that's some of the sites you really want to try and avoid. Now, the benefit of a machine with a reverse osmosis unit is when the items come out of the machine, they will be completely spotless. There will be no uh, watermarks on the glassware, so there's no need to then have to polish the items. They can then just go straight out and be used. So, again, there's no opportunity um, for cross-contamination. Now with reverse osmosis, um, there's two options to be able to provide that on a wind source machine. That can either be integral with the machine, um, so the unit there, it's all built in the base of the machine, um, 
or you can also look at existing machines. So if a scientist got an existing machine um, and they're still polishing by hand, we also do external units. So they can then be retrofitted to existing wind tools and machines out in the field. So again, it gives you an opportunity to look at selling additional items to existing customers. And we do two sizes. So that's a small one. So that, that's suitable for your under counter machines. We then also do a medium size. So again, if they're looking at pass-through size for, for glass washing, we also do a size that will fit, fit that. But again, it gives you an opportunity to sell additional items into customers that have already got, got machines or if it's a new customer, again, the integral RO option is a fantastic option. And again, it just makes sure there's, there's less chance of cross-contamination um, of items when they're, when they're polishing. All about our classic and wind top machines have been certified to BIM standard, so we know um, that they kill any germs and the items are coming out of sanitizer. So again, if people want clarification or confirmation on that, we have got independent certification as well to prove that, the, that they, the machines do what they say on the tin and the items come out completely sanitized. So that's all approved and we've got that. And then the last thing um, is service. Um, again, uh, a classic or a wind top machine, we can service any brand of wear wash machine. Now, as I've touched on before, the two real critical points are wash and rinse temperature and chemical dosing. So if a site has got an existing machine and they're not up to the right temperature or dosing is not correct, they're not going to get the best uh, performance and guarantee that the items are going to be sanitized when they come out of the machine. So what we've put together, uh, which is on the PDF, which we'll send you, is basically there's three um, service packages, one for under counters, uh, one for pass-throughs and under counter. Um, and what, what that will do is that an engineer will go out, they'll do a complete health check on the machine, make sure that temperatures are correct, dosing is correct, and the machine is working as it should be. So that these are great packages that you can offer um, to existing customers where they've already got a wear wash machine, but they're perhaps not sure, is it doing what it should do? Um, I say, try and sell these to your customers, gives them peace of mind that the machine is doing what it should do and it guarantees them that the items that are being washed are completely sanitized. And as I said, it doesn't have to be just a classic and a wind tunnel machine. Our guys will service any brand of wear washing machine. So any of your clients, you, you can look to, to sort of sell that. So with, the, with these options, you've really got an option to talk to all types of customers. Ones that don't have any wear washing in equipment and they're washing by hand. And those that have, again, you can look to sell these service packages um, to, to make sure the machines are working as they should be. And then outside of that, there's also the additional benefit trying to sell additional accessories. Um, obviously, antibacterial wipes is a key one for wiping down door handles, control panels, again, where people are constantly touching it and that cross-contamination potential. And again, on pass-throughs, control panels, vitally important that they're doing that. Obviously, sanitizing spray, which I'm sure you guys are selling a lot of at the moment. And again, just to help with cleaning the machines down anywhere where people can touch, it's really, really important that they're constantly kept clean and reduce the, the potential for cross-contamination. And then also, glass wash racks. Um, we, we do a range of compartmental glass wash racks. And again, to try and avoid contact with items that are being washed, this is a good option for glass washing, where the glasses will obviously go straight into each compartment, into the machine, but then once it's washed, they can just be stored in the rack. And these racks will stack up, so you just get the right height rack, obviously to suit the height of the glassware. Um, you can just stack them then in the rack, so again, they're not constantly being taken out, stacked on shelves, which will be the normal process. They can just be left in, in the glass wash racks. And we do different options, again, depending on the diameter of the glassware. So again, we can alter the, the number of compartments depending on, the, say, the diameter of the glass, the height of the glass um, to suit. So again, that's a great option um, that you can sell, again, to new and existing customers just to try and avoid that contact with clean glassware when it comes out of the machine. So again, it gives you another option that you can sell to your clients. And then... Also, what we do have as well, uh, we've, we've got cleaning tablets for machines. And I'm sure you guys have all had experience and seen machines out on sites that aren't always the cleanest. And again, these little tablets, they just drop into the, into the wash tank. 
turn it on and they will help clean the inside of the machine. So a great little thing where, where people aren't the best at all spinning their machines, just aids that cleaning. And again, just promotes um, that the machines are kept nice and clean and sanitized. Now on all the classic and windsor machines, they do give the temperature readout on the front. So on plastic machines, you've got your wash tank and your rinse tank temperature there. So science can see pretty clearly that the machines are up to temperature and they're doing what they, they should be doing. Similarly, on a wind salter machine, again, on the display, it gives you um, your, your wash tank and, and your rinse tank temperature on there. So again, they can see pretty clearly um, what's going on uh, with the machine and the fact that it's up to the correct temperature. And then from a, a good practice um, point of view, um, as I've already touched on, it, it's vitally, vitally important that they're keeping the, the handles and the control panels where, where people can constantly touch with dirty hands, that they're constantly kept clean with either a sanitizing spray or antibacterial wipes. And then inside the machines, again, it's vitally important that after every service that they're completely draining the machines down, taking everything out and giving them a good clean. So wash arms inside, filters are taken out for cleaning at the end of every service. Similarly on, on the under counter models, again, wash arms come out, Filters come out for cleaning. So again, it's just making sure that they're they're following best practice, making sure the machines are kept hygienically clean where they can, and it will just aid and stop any any cross contamination, anything sort of spreading um, within their sites. So all these things that people have got to think about more than they probably did before, um, just to make sure that things are coming out and there's no safe chance of cross cross contamination. Now we have put together a, a good practice guide. Um, again, the PDF form, which again, we'll send out to, to, to all you guys. And again, it's something you can refer to, you can give to your customers. It just helps them think along these lines of what they should be doing slightly different to what they did before, um, just to make sure, again, chance of cross-contamination is reduced. So obviously social distancing, we all know, is vitally important. But I think the, the key one that people all tend to forget is the cleaning of handles and control panels. Again, if it's just one person operation, in the, in the wash up area. Um, they've got to make sure they're washing their hands um, before they're taking the clean items out. In an ideal well, you'd have someone loading the dirties, someone unloading the cleans. Um, but again, that's not, not always um, possible. So it's one person that is vitally important that they're doing that on a continual um, sort of basis. Um, obviously checking temperatures and, and dosing obviously is vitally important. And then cleaning the machine down um, and then sanitizing anywhere that can be, be touched. But I think as well, to avoid um, contact with the items that are being washed, obviously reverse osmosis is a real good option um, on there to try and push that as a, a, a great option. And then also glass wash baskets, for storing clean glassware, um, so then there's less chance of people touching the glasses so much once they're coming um, out of the machine. So, so in essence, just, just to sort of recap, what, what we sort of put together really is, is options for you guys to be talking to all your customers, whether they've got a wear wash machine um, or they haven't. So you can look to sell uh, wear wash um, benefits over washing by hand, which is temperature, um, chemical dosing, and then the optimum wash time to guarantee the items are being sanitized. And then the service packages, um, again, for existing clients that have got wind source of classic machines, or they've got another brand. Again, it gives them peace of mind that their kit is doing what it should do, and they've got that peace of mind that once the items are being washed, um, they're sanitized, and there's no opportunity for um, any bugs, bacteria that, that might be on the items that uh, have, have been washed. And, and that's it.